Hey everyone, welcome to 365 Ninja. Today we're going to show how to get started with Sway. Office Sway is a great program to help you organize a presentation, go over a recent trip, or send out an invite for your holiday party. Today I'm going to make a holiday invite party invite with Sway and show you how you can customize it and make it really fun for the whole team. So we'll go into Sway once we sign into our Office 365 portal and we'll create new. From here I'm going to start making my invitation. So this year for the holiday party, we are hosting a big get together at the National Zoo. And I'm gonna show you how to make your invite personalized and with great images to send out to your whole organization. Okay, to start off, let's title our sway. Here within this box, you'll see that we have options to emphasize, accent, or link. These options will appear throughout the storyline and we'll go from there. As you can see, the home page of Sway, you have your storyline here, and this storyline is where you're going to organize all of your cards. On each card is where you can put a different piece of content, such as a photo, a caption, a video, even a link to a map. So we've got our title. Let's add a background to it so we can add some more color. I'm going to select a photo that I've downloaded on my drive. If at any point I want to preview what this looks like, all I need to do is click off the screen here. And it automatically adds some formatting that looks pretty cool. Let's go back to editing. So now that we have our title, let's add text for the actual invitation. So all I need to do to add a new card like this is click the plus button. I'm going to add text. So once you have your invitation text, all I need to do is you can go ahead and type it right in here or paste it from another document. I'm going to add a link for the National Zoo so people can click into it and look up more information about it. To add a link, highlight the text you want to link and click link. Then you'll paste in the link here and select OK. If at any point I want to delete a card I've already made, I have this option here to delete right there. You can also, if you're typing straight into the box, you have the options for formatting with numbers, bullets, adding an accent, or emphasizing. These two options, just you can play around with your text a little more. OK, so I've added my invite text, and now I want to add a little more color to the maps and how to get to the zoo. So I'm going to do this by importing an image of the map. So to add new content, I'll select New and click Picture. I'm going to upload a picture of a screenshot of the map I took earlier. So now that I got my map imported, I'm going to add text to the invite. Let's see how this looks. OK, great. So from here you can see my title page, my invite, and directions on the map, which is pictured here on the right. So every good party needs a dress code. And since we're hosting this at the zoo, the dress code is going to be animal themed. So I'm going to let people know that through images in a fun and playful way. So to add more content, I'll click Insert Content. And from my folder that I'm going to upload, I'm going to select all these photos as appropriate dress attire for the party. And since I did a bulk upload, I have the option to play around with the edits here too. I'll add captions to each of the pictures to add a little detail and fun words. When you select the card, you actually have the option to group them all together, and you have an option to play around with the layout as well. This is going to work out perfectly. Now I just want to add a little more text so I can hold the attention of my invitees just a little longer. And this is an important list of what to bring with you so you can get into the party. So I've got my checklist of what everyone needs to bring to the party. It's a little out of order, so I'm able to move around these cards really easily. To move them around, you just need to select this bottom right corner here and drag it where you need it to be. I'm going to pull it down here, and then I'm also going to move this map up here so it can go before the dress code because the map is a very important part of the invitation. Okay, so we've got all the vinyl information we need for the big party coming up. Now I want to play and preview to see what it looks like. You have these arrows down here to navigate through it, and you can read and experience the invitation as if you are the invitee. When you're ready to share the invite with all your users, look for this icon and click to share it socially. Here you can send out the link or get the embed code and embed it in your company communication tool. If you want to go back and edit your Sway, all you need to do is click the pencil. I hope you found this useful in getting started with Sway. For more tips and tricks, visit 365ninja.com.